Messing with you. He's a big old kid. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How um, are you? Good. I'm excellent. Christina, I so love that you are leaning into your romantic movie, you know, lane and all things romantic. And I love that you are playing this girl that believes in true love, no matter how silly somebody may think. Talk about that, because I think we need that. Now. I think mm -hmm. we need a little bit of magic. We need a little bit of I'm leaning into mm -hmm. the impossibilities. I think I'm like the poster child with my friends when it comes to <laughs> just that. Um, I think in life, I've, I've always kind of led by faith and also with my heart and kind of like seeing things with like open eyes and being uh, being prepared for what is to come, whether it's the good or the bad, but finding the good in all of it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I love about Layla. Layla is always pushing forward. When you watch this movie, she comes into a situation where the unexpected, she meets somebody, but she's got a boyfriend, but they have this amazing connection. He comes up with this idea to eventually meet in yeah. a situ circumstance that's probably not going to happen, <laughs> but then it happens. And it's like this motivation between like her best friend and yeah. her own mind and her own like push through and follow through that gets her to where she lands. And so I love that in life. I just think it's about pushing through the impossible or the unexpected or the unknown, mostly mm -hmm. the unknown. And I guess that's what fate is. Um, so I, I love romantic comedy. I love love, and I think uh, I give it gives people hope, makes them feel good. And each and one, each and every one that I've done has been so different. So it's like tells tells a real, really good different story every time. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. And Thoreau, Teddy, we like sir. This is not double dutch. Are you in <laughs> or are you out? Are you why are you all of a sudden in? You, you know and. He's like a lot of men that 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 say they want one thing, and then when we move on and we get ourselves together, then it's like, let me hop back in, you know. Mm -hmm. So talk about that. Why is it that some men need that push of possibly losing their love interest, their friend? Like, why can't y'all be right from the get go? Um, I just I just think growing up, um, men aren't sold the same dreams. You know, a lot of women grow up with Disney, and they grow up wanting to be saved by the Prince Charming, and that's not what we're told. So we're told to be more realistic, and we have to be the Prince Charming, so we're constantly looking for someone to be the Prince Charming for. Mm. So I think it's just two different perspectives of how we find love. Women are waiting to be whisked away, and men have to be more deliberate. Not about all women. Out. Hold on a second, because my daddy <laughs> taught me that I did not need See? to be whisked away. Okay. Okay. Thank All you right. very much. All right. But what but he is Matt saying. Matt came and whisked you away, though. Know. <laughs> Matt came with his same but birthday. But I wasn't expecting it. Okay. Thank but you Matt came in and whisked her. No, but whisked. he's right. I think upbringing does have a lot to do yeah. with it in yeah. all different ways, whether for men, the way that Absolutely, they. Absolutely, yeah. And I think that people are breaking the cycle these days. I think Absolutely. people see that love is popular. It is good. It makes you feel good. You can yes. be more successful having a partner yes. by your side. That's something that's guaranteed that's going to stick by your side. Yeah. Thick, thin, business, you know. Rich or poor, it's nice to have somebody to come home to that you can really be your true yeah. self. And I think men are starting to see that more <laughs> because these women are ready. I agree. Listen, <laughs> I've been married almost 30 years. Yeah. See, so he doesn't know because he hasn't I been single in forever, by the way. He's speaking. I'm not going to lie. He I, his woman. I haven't been single. Like, I've been with my wife since I was 18, so I don't know what the single life of being in and out is about. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have about the other boat. guys we, in this yeah. generation. Don't, He's not the don't one. Don't want to know, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. You I've been, made up I've been your in. Mind. He's got I, a good upbringing. Yes, my, I, I knew when I first met my wife, uh -huh. and she explained to me what she wanted out of life, and it was in synergy with what I wanted out of life. I was like, well, I don't need to look for nobody else. Like, this is this is where it is. So let's part. do this, you know? So. See? That part. We need more can of you. Multiply. Talk about you. <laughs> well, Absolutely. I mean, can, we, can we also talk about Christmas music? Because yes. I love oh, yes. Christmas music. Yes. But I'm also very specific. I don't like my Christmas music remix. Like, certain <laughs> songs need to be just the way it works, the way it does. And this, obviously, Pentatonics, amazing. Love them. Mm. So what is it that you put on? Like, this is your Christmas go-to song or album mm. that lets you know the holidays, like, now it's the holidays. 
I have a couple. The first one, I used to grow up listening to the Jackson 5 Christmas album. Oh, yes. My parents actually had the vinyl album, and every time we went to put the tree up, we would put the album on, and I would hear, I heard, I saw mommy kissing, 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 Santa Claus, underneath the mistletoe last night. Yeah, you gotta sing that. You see that? That's so good. That's my song. That is my go-to still. I'll put that Jackson 5 on. I won't lie. That's such a great one. Ain't it, though? It is, and it feels so good. It's like the kids can go with that one, too. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Christina? What is it? Especially, like, us Latinos, you know, we don't, we can't just, it's always multicultural, right? <laughs> yeah, but we don't. Yeah. Listen, do we have what a Feliz Navidad? You do. <laughs> we have that. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Yeah, but you know, Anything I'm else? just the playlist girl. I'll just be like finding stuff, but it has to just have the classics. I need all the yeah. jingle bells. I need Silent Night. I need all the classics. I like Alicia Keys. I like Boys to Men. Christina I need a Luther. Aguilera. Um, Luther. Mm-hmm. Be a, I need a little, little Luther Destiny's in there, you know? Child. I yeah. want all of that. A little bit in sync. Backstreet yeah. Boys. I'm all over the place. I just want to hear she my wants, favorites. Then I can't do that on the Christmas. I need, I need a little bit more salt. You know, I, I can't do the Backstreet. The Backstreet and the in sync. That ain't my. They got thing. some good in sync guys. Good ones. They, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a little bit of it. You know, I'm more of a boy. It was the Backstreet Boys, but in sync's got a good one. In sync, okay. They had some good ones. Throw it in the I would be order. remiss if you as a New Yorker, New York Christmas time, no shade to any other city, is super special. Facts. So what are some things, like, as you're making this movie, you're like, we can't, like, you know, you're like, we can't, we got to get this part right. Because I can't go back to the neighborhood and be like, <laughs> you know, you know, this was not New York. <laughs> well, the, the good thing is we didn't do any, like, New York landmarks. You know, we didn't do the Rockefeller tree. We didn't do Times Square. So we didn't, like, disrespect New York. But um, I do think that, like, the scene with the park reminded me of Upper West Side of New York. So I think they did a really good job with that. And, I mean, kudos to the team for finding some locations in Toronto that looked enough like New York so that it could pass. Because I know the Chanel store looked like outside of Fifth Avenue. And as a New Yorker, I was like, ah, that was pretty good there. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, even we did the gondola, like, we didn't do the horse gondola, which I think is, like, so typical of romantic that, movies yeah. and romantic comedies. Yeah. And, it, like, I've always thought Horses in the City was kind of weird. But <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, the, also on the bike with the light, that's like the new thing. They play music. I actually yeah. think there's a lot more life yeah. in that. So, I, yeah. and it's youthful to me. So I'm happy we did that. I yeah. feel like that would felt like New York. It did. It did. It did feel like New York. It was good. Absolutely. Well, guys, I so love this movie. And again, I love Christmas movies. I love the fact that it's a little silly and all that stuff. And we get happy endings. We need it right now. Absolutely. And I love this for both of you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to chat with me. Absolutely. And continue success. Thank uh, you, thank so, you much. so much. Many we appreciate you. you. Happy holidays. Happy.